On this episode of Trump Just Looks Sad at this point, we're going to talk about his press release. But before we do that, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you've been here for the past week, you've heard me say it over and over again. Make sure you put trans rights or human rights and Black Lives Matter all up in my comment section because trolls are trying to spam it. They are getting more desperate. Like I said, they keep putting poop, poop emojis into my... Uh, into my comment section, but y'all are drowning them out with your love and support for the trans community, and I am here for it. I think y'all are amazing for it, and I greatly appreciate you every single day for what y'all have done. All right, let's just do this. So Trump had a press release, and it was really sad, and it says, and I, I kid you not, I'm going to read it word, word for word. I hope everyone remembers when they're getting the COVID-19 the COVID or getting the COVID-19 often referred to as the China virus, because why not throw in some, some racism there, vaccine, if it wasn't, if it wasn't, if I wasn't president, you wouldn't be getting that beautiful shot for five years at best. Probably wouldn't get it at all. I hope everyone remembers. That is a pathetic attempt. Pathetic attempt. Because he's worried that his legacy is going to be mirrored by the Capitol riots, his horrible handling of of COVID and all of the myriad of scandals that he had when he was a president because he's one of the worst presidents ever and he is genuinely mad at the uh, approval ratings that Biden has gotten his office which has been well above 50 percent pretty much since he took office and I'm going to remind you that Trump never had above 50 percent his entire presidency and uh, he big man he big man he big worried he wants us to thank him. I will not be thanking you for your politicizing mass. I will not be thanking you for downplaying the virus for the stock market. I will not be thanking you for the 500,000 plus people that have died because people still won't put on a mask or take the vaccine because you politicized it. I won't be thanking you for, you know, not advertising that you got the vaccine and hiding it because you didn't want to offend your base when your base is so afraid of it that family members of mine with heart conditions won't get the vaccine and are mad at my mom because they're afraid it's going to kill her. I'm trying to keep my mom alive here and I got family members that support this moron that listen to what this moron says that are like, the vaccine's gonna kill you. No, it's not. And now they're probably going to get themselves killed and then I'm gonna be having to go to my large chunk of my family's funerals because they listened to a man baby who literally admitted to lying on tape because he didn't like the way it made him look. He didn't want to wear a mask because he didn't like the way it made him look. You do not get praise for vaccines that had nothing to do with you. Yeah, you put the money into the Moderna vaccine, maybe. You put some money into it, but they are the ones behind the science. The scientists get the credit. You get zero credit for the Pfizer vaccine and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine because guess what? That didn't have anything to do with them. The Pfizer vaccine was developed in Germany and uh, that was the first vaccine to come out and that's the vaccine a lot of people are getting. And again, all you did was agree to buy the vaccine. You didn't put the money into it. And you were not the scientist that developed the vaccine. And the vaccine, the ability to make the vaccine quickly came from a, uh, from a new style of vaccine invented by the scientists. We can now pump out vaccines like this fairly regularly. And we have been able to do this or had the um, technology to do this for years. This had nothing to do with Trump who pushed fake cures, told people they should inject disinfectant into their body and then poison control got an uptick in calls for whether they could ingest bleach a freaking medication hydroxychloroquine which was known for raising people's heart rates and was killing people in the va because he wanted a magical cure he also was the one that said it would disappear like magic when it got warm you don't get credit for this you get credit for your disastrous handling of it because that is what you have done you get no credit for a vaccine that once it was developed, you had no plan to distribute, lied about how many you had, and made a nightmare example when Biden came in and even tried to block him into getting information about the vaccine until he took the presidency. Instead of handing the information over so that he could go in with a plan, you hid that information and left them blindsided. But yet they've still managed to get almost 2 million vaccines a day out without you because you don't get credit when you are a terrible leader who did terrible things and caused the death of 500,000 Americans. I remember this time last year when Trump supporters were like, it's no worse than the flu. We won't see more than like 10,000 deaths. Yeah, we've seen 500,000, you jerks. And there are long haulers that will have symptoms for the rest of their lives. So screw you, screw your president, and screw the horse you rode in 
on and I will see you later.